Hi everyone, it's Shalisha from Versa Metal and I'm back with yet another video that will help future-proof your examinations. But this time, I'm not here to share a concept or to decrypt a definition. I'm here to address the impact of disruptions such as COVID-19 on examination continuity and why educators such as you should experiment with the online mode given all the unknowns and the challenges. So let me begin by asking, have you saved the online examination wave yet? If not, why? Are you constantly rescheduling? Are you indefinitely postponing? Are you promoting basis older in-class assessments? Or are you still waiting for the curve to flatten? If these are your reasons, have you ever thought what happens if disruptions continue to manifest? Won't it hamper your continuity? And won't it defer your examination schedules beyond a point of repair? Because neglecting examination continuity is sure to cost students a valuable opportunity to learn and grow their education. Let me tell you, you belong to that side of the coin that is looking at disruption as a challenging and complicated situation. Why so? Lack of awareness, limited knowledge, and an unfavorable perception about online examination platforms will only cause confusion and stress. And then there is the other side of the coin, where educators see disruption as a silver lining. Rather than deferring assessments indefinitely or waiting for the situation to improve, the likes of Christ University, Amity University, various IIMs, Harvard University, Cambridge Assessments, and many more premier institutes and universities address their continuity challenges in the first phase of the pandemic itself by moving the exams online. Howard University hosted its national competitive fellowship program online without challenges and concerns. Thousands of learners embraced the digital way owing to a smooth and end-to-end -end delivery of exams online. IMA India, the exam for IMA's flagship program, Management Aptitude Test MAT, was also taken online. Over 35,000 applicants moved from offline to the online mode without any technical or operational glitches. Why just the biggies? Several kindergartners, middle school goers, high school students have also taken exams online. Take Silverline Prestige School from India, for example. Students from class 3 to class 12 have taken exams online without any challenge. Unit tests, half yearly, final exams, pre board exams. Everything was taken online for them. Now isn't this an ideal way of providing education stakeholders a safe passage for continuity? Interestingly, one might give the credit for this transition to educators who let go of their long-held traditional beliefs around online exams. However, I think the edutech sector must share the laurels and the honor in making commendable progress that helped all these educators transition online. Why you ask? because their innovation and constant improvement make good things better. For example, EduTech players have ensured that whenever schools, universities, institutes use the online examination platform, they gain the same level of academic rigor and academic integrity as provided in the traditional setup. Now coming to the crux of my video, why academia needs to experiment with the online mode. I won't beat around the bush. Experimenting with the online mode is the only way of ensuring continuity and maintaining resilience. Give new methods and processes a try, overcome your apprehensions, and open your mind to various untapped ideas. Let me make it simpler by sharing some wonderful benefits that experimenting with the online mode will bring to you. Number one, creates continuity. With the tried and tested online examination system, disruptions become less disruptive and ensures continuity unabated. Faculty is confident and students are empowered to continue and reach their educational goals. Number two, builds a tech savvy image. Technology is a way of life for today's generation, which is why they look up to teachers who are up to date with technology and often integrate them during teaching and conducting examinations. Now that's a student faculty connection that is impressive to build. Number three, Technology has made things advanced, yet simple. Latest advances in AI-based proctoring have changed the functioning of anti-cheating technologies. Mechanisms such as facial recognition software, audio scanning devices, on-screen monitoring software, or inbuilt biometric equipments 
have eliminated persistent concerns around online cheating. Evaluation systems have taken a new form. Did you know a future-ready online question paper marking and evaluation software has been introduced to help assess virtual exams? This software allows for a hassle-free assessment of subjective and objective questions for all kinds of exam evaluations. It's highly controlled, has well-defined access that safeguards the integrity of the evaluation process with no leakage, loss or theft of personal data, question bank or answer sheets. Invention of plug-and-play prop train within an LMS to avoid additional investments. Until now, learning management systems did not have any proctoring mechanism in place and so could not administer exams safely. But EduTech players innovated and created a plug-and-play system that allows proctoring integration into any software or platform. Exam administrators and faculty can now initiate cheat-proof exams without leaving their LMS environment. The test-taking experience has improved. Yes, indeed. EduTech players have warmed up many test takers to the idea of taking exams online. By solving simple concerns such as basic internet connectivity, negligible software setup, refining the invigilation system and removing other systematic barriers. Number 4. Tech adoption has become efficient. Honestly, it's a myth that senior and older faculty members are least supportive of the online system. They might not be digital natives, but they are surely quite efficient at understanding online intricacies and applying them comfortably and confidently. For instance, IIM Bangalore made sure that 1.2 million learners successfully took their exams online using Mercer Metal's robust online examination platform. Aren't these benefits fascinating? Trust me, a tried and tested arrangement can offer much more than this. So let me ask you again. Should you face another continuity-related challenge? Will you make the online examination mode your default option? Still scrambling for an answer, huh? What am I there for? Take a look at this graph that will help you understand the online approach better. Begin by determining the exam stakes, high or low. This distinction defines the purpose of the exam under consideration. Following this, you decide on the scale you want to manage. Here's what I suggest. Low stakes with low stakes. Choose a small batch of students and a type of examination that has negligible impact on the student's grade. This way you can explore, understand and engage with the online setup without worrying about consequences. Take subject quizzes for example. Low stakes with high scale. If you've gotten the hang of taking low stakes online exams, speed up a bit with a larger number of students. Use this opportunity to create different exam patterns, creating new grading techniques, setting up multiple question papers, and training yourself in the art of online invigilation. High stakes with low scale. I'm sure if you've enjoyed experimenting with the online setup up till now, giving a high stakes exam on a low scale will be a breeze for you. Exams such as internal assessments, certification exams, or midterm exams have major consequences and therefore need a high level of reliability but one needs to tread carefully. So begin with a small batch of students, one that is easy to manage, and sharpen your online exam giving skills. While the stakes will provide a detailed understanding of the student's potential, the scale will ensure fewer stress areas and a reduced workload. High stakes with high scale. Time to prep up and face the traffic. Exams such as national exams, entrance exams and recruitment exams carry substantial weightage as they are critical to the future of the test taker. So don't be apprehensive, you've practiced enough by now. Administering such high quality assessments with security, integrity, impartiality and accuracy will come naturally to you. If all of this still makes you queasy and uneasy, go ahead and try the hybrid approach. This is where certain aspects of an exam can be taken offline and certain can be administered online. This is another way of easing yourself into trying the online examination setup. I recently read a quote by Dr. William Schaffner, a professor at the Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. He stated, we've been told that this virus will disappear, but it will not. It's going to be around, hassling us for the foreseeable future. And by that, I mean years. This makes me all the more persistent on using crisis as an opportunity to innovate. 
Embrace a different approach, negate all possible threats and emerge stronger only by starting small. Only then can together we create a system that will continue unabated. This brings us to the end of our video and I hope you're confident enough to sail the online wave as well as help others do so without a glitch. I'll be back with more solutions to help ease your apprehensions. But before you leave, don't forget to like and share the video, hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel for more.